Hello, I'm Mark from Tradesman Mechanical and today we're going to talk about LED fault codes on mid and high efficiency furnaces. Um, what we have here is a, a little viewer screen that uh, sometimes will be hidden by the energy, energy guide sticker so you may have to lift that up but uh, in doing so you can uh, typically see inside there'll be a, a colored light uh, that will be flashing some type of a status code, a fault code, and uh, with that uh, it will uh, it'll bring in some helpful information. Um, just to show you that on the inside of the panel typically there's, uh, there will be uh, a list, a schedule that will uh, show um, the fault codes for that particular furnace. Uh, but before you do this, uh, I would suggest that uh, the first thing you should do is uh, make sure that the furnace actually has power. Um, in the, uh, on the furnace close by, uh, there'll be a service switch that uh, looks just like a light switch usually. Uh, if it's not on the furnace, it might be just up on the ceiling uh, or, or somewhere in the general area. Uh, make sure the circuit breaker's on and that you have power to the furnace. And to acknowledge that, uh, usually you'll see that the, uh, the, there will be an LED indicator light showing that it's got power. So that's the first thing you can do. Uh, the second thing, of course, is uh, check and see that your filter isn't, uh, isn't plugged because uh, that uh, for sure will cause, uh, cause some failure. Uh, the, the third thing that you can do is uh, check to see if the uh, venting, uh, the, the vent pipes that go out the side of your house at the other end, uh, where they come out, if there's any ice or snow ac accumulation, that needs to be cleared out. That's something uh, that, uh, as well that you can do. And the last thing that you can do is uh, check the uh, batteries in your thermostat. A lot of people uh, don't realize that, you know, inside your thermostat, uh, if it's a digital thermostat, there's batteries and uh, that could be part of your problem too. Even though you have a display, it could be that there's not enough signal there to actually uh, get the circuit board to activate. Anyway, getting back to uh, the circuit board and the LED codes, uh, in the early 80s, the uh, furnace company started manufacturing uh, furnaces with this uh, technology. Uh, the early generation circuit boards came out with uh, just the one LED and uh, um, afterwards uh, it evolved into uh, you know boards that had two LEDs uh, with, uh, with a, a, a somewhat lengthier series of, uh, of diagnostic and uh, of course uh, like this one here um, it has uh, three LED codes uh, and basically one will be uh, you know a status code one would be a power code and the other one would be a fault code uh, some of these uh, the different manufacturers will have different colors uh, but all representative of uh, what the chart will actually say the fault code is uh, passing this information on to uh, uh, a qualified technician uh, is very helpful information um, it's not something that uh, that will necessarily direct you to uh, the exact fault because there's cause and effect. Um, sometimes uh, a fault code could be uh, there could be three or four thing, different things that'll that'll cause that fault, and uh, not necessarily direct you to which exact component you need to replace. So uh, there's always a safety factor to concern because it is a, a gas-fired appliance, and uh, there should be a, a lot of safety considered in uh, in doing any kind of repair. Here is a list of the most common furnaces found in Winnipeg homes. Click on the brand name of your furnace and get to your furnace fault codes. I hope that you receive value from this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you did. If you have a question about heating and air conditioning, just ask it in the comments below. For more information about Trades and Mechanical, you can visit our website at www.tradesmandrcool.com Com. You can also call us directly at 888 And remember, our service department never closes.